Hotty toddy, welcome back to Oxford, Mississippi, and another edition of Gumball Gold. I reached over a thousand subscribers last week, and I want to thank all of you so much. And uh, I wanted to make this video to address one of my subscribers' questions. Are we going to go cashless? A cashless society? Oh, I don't think so in my lifetime, but let's look at the question. At Chris Pool 2122, do you think with the push to a cashless society, bulk machines are a thing of the past? I sure hope not. I just bought eight triple shot machines. I pray I'm not too late to the party. And Chris, I hope you're not too late, but I answered you, but I didn't include it in the screenshot, so I thought I'd make a video about it. Now I'm old as dirt. And I can't see for the next 20 years, uh, if I live that long, <laughs> that we'll go cashless. Like I said in the reply, there will always be poor people. And in this economy, there's really going to be a lot of poor people. And the, one of the first things is they get ejected from the banking system or they quit it. And they're forced to use cash. And we wouldn't have payday loan businesses that cash paychecks and existing God in some places there's like four or five on one street. They're always in poor neighborhoods. Uh, titty dancers on the pole. They're always going to accept cash. <laughs> Fanny Willis, the district attorney in Atlanta. We've been watching her demise. She needed cash. She kept large amounts in her house all her life, she claims, okay? So I can't see us going cashless in the rest of my lifetime. I don't care what income bracket you're in or whatever. And let me share with you real life what just happened to me last week. There's a strip mall here with one of my locations at a Vietnamese restaurant. I've had it for over a year. Always does pretty well. And there's a business on the opposite end of the strip mall called Wingstop. For over a year, I go into this business and get try to get permission to locate a machine, ask for a manager. But on this one day, I lucked out. Not only was the manager there, but the regional manager. And they both said yes, they would love a gumball machine. But as I was leaving the business, I noticed a sign on the door. It's a cashless business. They only take debit and credit cards only. So I want y'all to comment down below. And I read your comments all the time. But comment down below if you want to see a video of a collection. It's been about a week. If you want me to go out this week, next week, comment down below. If you're curious as I am, did I mess up? Will this location be fruitless, not produce anything? <laughs> I'm sure you recognize the machine from a previous video. I got it with a product. And so if I sell all the product, the gumballs, then the machine's free plus a profit. So is it going to take me a long time to get the return on my investment? Now, another thing is, I want you all to comment down below, is your thoughts on a cashless society? Are you buying the electric gumball machines, the ones that take you know, credit card readers? Are you getting prepared for a cashless society? Comment down below, because I'm not the know-it-all know and end-all. I'm not the sharpest tool in this shed. It's just my opinion in this video that we will not go cashless for decades. But I know some of you are smarter than me. I know some of you have probably purchased these electronic bulk vending machines. And I want to hear your thoughts. And how's it going for you? I just, here in Oxford, for me, at the present time, they have a city tax for vending machines. If it plugs in the wall, it's $100 a year. Okay, so if I go get the electric machines... Put a credit card reader on it. I'm in the system. I have to get a business bank account to collect that money. 
It's not worth it for me. A mechanical machine will last decades without having to replace the parts, have any problems, just clean them. But these electric machines, they do have the little screen on them. And to me, they're like the claw machines. Their parts are going to eventually need replacing. Motherboards or whatever it is, they're eventually going to need some maintenance and some more investment in them. But like I just said, I'm not the smartest person in the world. Comment down below what your thoughts is on it. And with that, I want to thank you for watching. I'm back out reading the mail. Bye-bye.